Hello, I'm Mr. Michael, and today we are going to be reading the story about Bear's Big Bottom. And this story was written by Steve Smallman and Emma Yarlett. So let's see what happens in the story. On the first page, let's have a look. Bear was friendly. Bear was sweet. The nicest bear you'll ever meet. So he was a very, very nice bear. There you can see he's busy playing and feeding the birds and busy playing with the ants at the top there. With little paws and little feet. There you can see his paws and there you can see his friends. And what do his friends say? We love Bear. Come and play. So he was so nice and so sweet. Oh, but what did he have? And a very big bear bottom. There you can see his big bear bottom. So as he sat down, <laughs> all of his friends went flying up into the air. Ah, so his best friends really didn't mind that Bear had such a big behind. There you can see. It made him easier to find. You can't hide a bear's big bottom. There you can see he's busy trying to hide away behind this bush. And there you can see his big bottom. But when they tried to watch TV, Bear's bottom filled the whole city. There you can see the chair. And no one could sit comfortably because of Bear's big bottom. He had such a big bottom. You can see the squirrel and the mouse and the snail. They have nowhere to sit. They are not very comfortable. One day at Squirrel's birthday bash, there you can see they're having a party, Bear turned and made the presents smash, bang, crash. Oh, so he turned around and what happened? He bumped all of the presents. Then the pool was emptied with one splash because of Bear's big bottom. So he jumped into the pool and all the water splashed out and it was emptied. When Hedgehog fetched the birthday cake, there you can see Hedgehog and there's the birthday cake, which everyone had helped to make, Bear made a really Big mistake. Can you see the big mistake? What did he do? He squashed it with his bottom. So he pushed down and he squashed the cake. Oh dear. Oh no. Hmm. My poor cake. You've spoiled our day. Bear's friends all cried. And poor Bear felt so sad inside. Here you can see he's all sad. He ran away and tried to hide his clumsy big bear bottom. So he ran away and he hid by this tree and he sat because of his clumsy big bottom. So the friends set off to search for bear. We're sorry Bear, come back. Is he in there? Asked the mouse inside. We're sorry, Bear. Are you under there? So he wasn't under the rock. They shouted, Bear, are you in there? But then they got a nasty scare. Fox tried to bite their bottoms. Fly, run, 
Ah, ip. Oh no, they all had to get away because the fox wanted to bite them. Quick, help us bear, they cried in fear. They were scared. Snap, snap. Bear shouted right back, loud and clear. I'm trying, but I'm stuck in here. There you can see he's stuck in the tree because of my big bottom. So all the animals were trying to run away, but Bear was stuck inside the tree and he couldn't move. So Bear's little friends began to feel they'd soon be foxes evening meal. So he was going to eat them. Ooh. But then Fox gave a scaredy squeal and fell back on his bottom. A monster yelled the fox and fled. So he ran away. What did he see? A big monster? No, no, no. It was just the big bear. Let's turn the book like that. So, exhibit A. A bird's nest, you can see. And exhibit B, a tree. You can see the tree behind the big bear. And finally, exhibit C, the bear. There you can see the bear. It's only me, bear softly said. I've got a bird's nest on my head and a tree stuck to my bottom. Hooray, Bear! Yay! So they were all happy that Bear was alive and they could find him. But he had this big, big tree and the nest all stuck on him. So what happened? They helped Big Bear. Oh, sorry. They helped Bear get his bottom free. So they took him out and then he took them home for tea and everyone cheered happily hooray for bear's big bottom there you can see everyone is nice and happy and they were happy about his big big bottom the end i hope you enjoyed that story until next time bye bye